Hi, I'm Danny Ward and this is Knowledgeica. 60? Why? Who decided on having 60 seconds in a minute? Would 100 seconds not have been much easier? Well, we can say thank you to the Babylonians, an ancient Akkadian state existing from 1894 BC to 539 BC in central southern Mesopotamia, which is now the region of Iraq in today's world. They really liked the number 60 a lot. So much so that they used a base 60 system for a wide variety of things, including astronomy and maths. Thanks to the ancient Egyptians' love of sundials, the day had already been divided up into 12 subdivisions. But then, why 12? The Egyptians were influenced by the Sumerians before them, who had a love of the number 12. But then, why did they like 12? Did using base 12 simply make it easier to count on one hand, using the thumb as a pointer? There is also evidence to suggest that 12 was tied to the number of lunar cycles in a year and the zodiac cycles. Additionally, it is thought that 12 stars in the night sky were what marked the passage into the night. So, back to 60 again. 60 is the smallest number divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, along with 10, 12, 15, 20, and 30. So for the math-loving Babylonians, this was a big deal. 100 can only be divided by 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10, making it less friendly for calculations, and nobody wants that, right? Given that time had already been divided up into 12 segments for a day, it made sense to use 60 to give much nicer, simpler fractions with fewer messy reoccurring numbers when talking about certain parts of the day. The Babylonians, being the math lovers they were, thought it was a good idea to divide up a 360 degree circle by their new favourite number 60, similar to work conducted by ancient Greek scholars. This was perfect for devising not only a geographic method of deducing latitude, but also for telling the time. 360 was most likely the best guess estimate for the number of days in a year, and so this was chosen as the degree system for a full circle in order to track the sun, which back then, of course, they thought circled around the Earth. 360 degrees were divided up by Claudius Ptolemy into 60 parts known as partes minute primae, or the first minute, which we now simply call minutes. And these minutes were divided by 60 once again to create partes minute secunde, or second minutes, which we now refer to simply as seconds. This was entirely theoretical stuff, however. Telling the time to that precision wasn't actually possible until 14th century Europe, when mechanical clocks became a thing. So the Sumerians liked 12, which led to the Egyptians also liking 12. They made a sundial. The Mesopotamians then divided by their favourite number 60 because they love maths. This was built upon by Greek writer Ptolemy, who gave them a name, and it got applied to the 12 segmented sundial of the Egyptians. Now one thing I am left wondering after all of that, why on earth did we regress to simply counting the fingers on our hands? We today can count to 10 on two hands. The Mesopotamians counted to 12 on one. <laughs> Who are the more advanced civilization again? This has been Knowledgeka. Stay hungry for factuality.